Have you ever cooked? I cook every day. Yes. Yes, all the time. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Have you cleaned utensils? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. Uh, yeah. Who is the head of your family? My mom leads. Father. I am. <laughs> mm. Both my parents. Um, I guess I mean if I have to choose my father. My father. Who manages household finances? My dad. Father. My husband. My mother, absolutely. Father. My father. One word about the following: feminism. I think it's misunderstood by people who claim to be feminist. Misunderstood? Yeah, I support it. Misunderstood. Uh, should be better defined and more inclusive. Reservation for women. Let them be on their own. Not in current form. Important. I will support it, but my perspective in this is a. Uh, it's a need a bit elaborate. A good idea. Reservations for women, but reservations have have they been serving the purpose? I don't know. Women in STEM. STEM makes technology more socially in inclusive. They'll succeed. I will support it. Uh, we need more women in STEM. Necessary again. Actually, we need them. Yes. Women in politics. They are slowly making their place. Makes politics more sensitive. We need more. Yeah, India needs women in politics. Necessary. Would lead to better politics, saner politics. Domestic violence. Worse. Bad, but the law is maybe misused. Should not happen in this day and age. I'm against that. It's run its course. It's it's time it's ended. Big no. The color pink. Baby. Pink movie. Overrated. TRS. I mean, it gets more flag than it should. Pink is a good color for shirts. Period leave. Should be there. Period leave should be. Should be there. Mandatory. I'm not quite sure. It should be given. Women safety. Is bad. Must. Paramount. First main priority. High time that it's ensured. Big issue. Big issue. Casual sexism. It can apply to any gender. Should never be. Should go. I won't support it. Uh, rampant. Regressive. Women in judiciary. Less in number in India, I think. Rare. Strong. India needs more progress. There are quite a few at the trial court level, uh, but would like to see more. Waiting for the first CGI. Hello, my name is Jay Prakash Narayan. My warmest greetings to all women on this International Women's Day. We've come a long way. My mother was denied education beyond a point because there was no school above eighth grade in her village. My grandfather thought it was infrastructure for his child to go to another village and study. In each of her families in our country, traditionally, there were this overt and covert discrimination against women, imposed by tradition, imposed by meaningless dead habit, as Tagore called. But things are changing, changing for the better. In the last 25 or 30 years, more and more girls are getting educated. What is more, they're doing remarkably well. And on average, go to any university or college today, the girl children are doing infinitely better than the boys in our country. But that does not mean everything is good. The women's participation in the labor force is incredibly low, one of the lowest in the world. Lower than Pakistan and Bangladesh, lower than Saudi Arabia. It's only under 20% at this point of time. It actually declined in the last 10, 15 years. We have to dig deeper and find out why it is declining and create legitimate avenues for employment of women, particularly in the rural and in the low socioeconomic strata. And that means attendant changes across the country to allow the emergence of formal sector, organized sector, small and medium sector, by appropriate amendments to the laws, by the reform required in order to make sure that these enterprises and employment are possible in the country. It's a big, big issue. The second is the society. Even if women are well-educated, still increasingly in large numbers, they're not really putting their talents to use. The families are more than happy to showcase the education of their girl children or women but not giving them opportunities to actually lead in a variety of sectors. As a society, we must recognize, as Mahatma Gandhi said, equality of women is actually equality of men too. By creating an unequal situation, it is an unhappy situation for both men and women.
we have to figure out ways. It's not enough to give education to children. It's not enough to showcase the qualifications, impressive qualifications. But we have to actually create a path for equal participation and leadership in a variety of sectors, including in politics. Now, a crude reservation of constituencies is a bad idea, but parties being compelled by law to give adequate representation to women, put up women candidates wherever they feel they are viable in their party. That is the way forward. The idea is not merely that women should get more representation, they will also alter the nature of politics. From politics of power to become politics of service, politics of delivery, politics of outcomes. Focus on education, healthcare, basic amenities, women's safety, so on and so forth. So we have to welcome it. India is really a laggard in this respect. Finally, our cities are increasingly inhospitable for women. With increasing impersonal lives, there is violence against women, crime against women, sometimes in a very vindictive manner. You can see the males who felt that they are inferior to women intellectually and accomplishment-wise are renting that venom on women in brutal acts of violence. But this violence does not come in one day. There is a spectrum. The daily harassment women face in schools, in colleges, in shop floors, in marketplaces, in public places, in public transport, everywhere, is tolerated because it's largely physically not violent, but it's not acceptable. Once you tolerate some form of aggression against women, then that will lead to bigger crime. Unless we stop this, unless we create a culture of safety for women, habitually on a day-to-day -day basis, we will not be able to procure safety of women in our society across the spectrum. While the big cases the rape and molestation and serious acts of violence, they must be addressed. Even the small daily acts of harassment of women, which are endemic in our society, they must be stopped. Therefore, a strong system of local courts as an integral part of independent justice system, quickly deciding who is guilty and imposing a small but definite punishment, swift and sure punishment, so that the acts of violence on women on a daily basis, the harassment of women on a daily basis will cease. Only then will our streets, our public spaces, our economic activity, our social spaces be safe for women. It is desperately important. Otherwise, there is a danger that women in the name of their safety will be relegated to the homes again and not allowed to go out and participate in the public affairs or in the economic affairs of the society. That will be a devastating blow to India's quest for equality of women. We have to act with good sense. We have made some progress. We have a long way to go. And I really hope that all of us together will realize it is not women versus men. All of us must enjoy our liberty in full measure, fulfill our potential in full measure. Only then can we be truly happy and harmonious. Once again, let me extend all women in our society, in our country, and across the world a happy International Women's Day Let's hope that society indeed changes for the better in the next generation. We will have a situation where the gender of birth will have no consequence in terms of the quality of life the person needs, or the ability to fulfill their aspirations, or reach the full potential as a human being and make a contribution to fellow human beings in society. I wish you all the very best. Thank you.